Hi, this is hi, this is Godfrey, your trusted mentor and the coach, um, candidate for Strike System. It's a program that we offer to help candidate engineers, technologists, and technicians to successfully complete TERs and TEOs and engineering report within six weeks without confusion and wasting time. This is the system we follow. It's got nine steps. It's got three phases that we, we go through uh, with all the candidates that want our help so that we are able to help them to move from candidate position to become, becoming professionals. These are the testimonies of real people with real results that have uh, come through our program. Uh, if you go to this link and you click it, you will see the more than there are more than 35 of these guys, you know, um, and actually more than 100. Some of them we didn't put on, on the testimonials on the system. We have selected the few, and these are some of them. You can see their results. You can see what their recommendation, what are they saying about the program. These are the reviews that we get from our previous a candidate that we have worked with them. On this video, I just want to quickly discuss outcome number eight, which is how to conduct yourself ethically. All right, um, there's few things that are very important when you address outcome number eight on your engineering report. The moral soundness, moral habits, standards of behavior, principles of rights and wrongs are excess code of conduct, including competency, integrity, public interest, environment, dignity of the profession. So those are the five important code of conduct with EXA with regards to ethics. So it's important that when you um, get registered, you make sure that you take projects or work that is competent to your skills and your training. So as a mechanical technologist um, trained in the field of uh, mechanical engineering, I cannot take assignments that are outside mechanical engineering training and skills that I've received in my uh, university or in my theory. Uh, and the experience that I've gained in the industry. So the issue of ethics is not only about bribes and other stuff, but also, you know, taking assignments that are outside of my skill, that also is the issue of ethics. Because if you fail in that area, uh, you know, you might go and design or give clients recommendation that actually you don't have experience about. So it's very important. Issue of integrity. Sometimes you work with clients and you realize that the assignment that you are busy doing, it's, 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 it's the scope of work is not well defined, it's not fully defined, and you're not sure whether you are able to offer the solution based on the problems that they are facing. So it's rather, you know, leave assignments, as, as such assignments, don't take assignments that you don't have the experience and skills to do. Public interest also is important, you know, the, 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 the matter or the issue about access is all about public interest. If you, you, you go in designs or you, you carry out assignments that they can harm the public, you know, that, that can really con constitute a very great problem. So it's important that whatever you are doing in your professional work, make sure that the public interest, um, it's, it's the number one um, factor of concern in your mind in whatever you are doing. Environment also is important uh, when we do our engineering work, we must take care of the environment because the environment provides life to us. The dignity of the profession also, we conduct ourselves well. We don't do bribes. We don't uh, take assignments above our skills and training. That's very important because that it can actually um, uh, uh, cause problems in our career life. Uh, ethical problems include tender fraud. Um, you know, sometimes we do projects um, I mean, during COVID, it's after COVID, companies are looking for work and, and people will do whatever it takes to get work. You know, people will bribe you uh, in any way. Um, so some of the examples that I've learned in my career, clients will come and give you present. Maybe they will give you a ticket to Mauritius for you and your wife for, for a week or for two weeks so that you, they, they influence your decisions in, 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 in offering them some some work so you need to be careful you know of such things you know when you get things like this you must make sure you declare them according to your company's policies um uh, to your um, hr or your manager so that you are clear and clean you know so that also the the the, the, the clients or the service providers they know that the present that they've given 
you it's not going to influence your decision in giving them some work uh, payment of bribery this is this is the big thing in the government you know um, this is the big thing in the industries people will, will will do whatever it takes for them to get what i want so take be be cautious of that as a professional when you begin to work in the industry once you qualify alcohol abuse um sexual harassment uh, some people you know they want fav sexual favors for them to get to a higher position that is is not ethic okay favoritism also like i say sometimes you might be sending a tender out you know for pricing and then you may find that uh, one of the companies it's 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 somebody that you know or is linked to somebody that you know and we see lo this a lot in government tenders because i know so and so who knows the owner of the company and then that influence our decisions to give the tender to those that we favor so that's it's not ethics it's a it's very it's a very not way good way of, of running a business defamations fraudulence over time claims also this one is a big one in construction you know people will claim uh, over time you know they will claim things that they didn't complete on the project so you need to make sure that you are aware of things like the fraudulent expenses claim this is also not ethical fraudulent qualification we know this is big also in the in the industry people will do whatever you know for for them to to be uh, seen as people with credibility in their experience Ms. Ms representation of facts um also that is not an ethical things to do a to company policy that addresses bribery alcohol abuse absentees fraudulent over time claim expenses qualification and sexual offense etc so make sure that whenever you are faced with the situation like this this situation is reported you know to your hr manager or to your manager or supervisor so that you are able to stay clear out of you know issues of ethics it's very important um in my in my career i've learned that to get business from clients is all about reputation if your reputation is clean your reputation is clear you are a man of ethics and values you will always get business it's no longer about who you know or about your experience you know it's all also the importance of reputation if you you have the experience you are well known but you don't have reputation people will do never do business with you so that's outcome number eight which is a very important outcome you know um when you begin to write your report including the excess report itself you know i've seen people taking other people's report and copy you know the content of the report that's not ethical because if you go for the interview and they ask you question based on the experience that you've um, addressed on your report and you are not able to answer those questions it could constitute the issue of ethics if you can copy other people's work so do your work you know so that you are able to answer question based on on your own work that you have done so that's in a nutshell just in summary result outcome number eight which is very critical so if you want to know more uh, you can go to this link we have done a pre-recorded webinar uh, in 2021 you can uh, you know um, see what we offer how we coach how we assist candidate technologists technicians and engineers uh, in our program and the things that we offer and then we will be happy to help you we'll be happy to engage you drop us an email at info at emakerholdings.co.za then we will be glad to assist you to coach you to mentor you review your reports and make sure that your reports covers all the requirements of the excess application process i hope to see you in the program cheers